All praises to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Racha Kodash. To bow honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well and labor in the word and doctrine. Shalom, mean in peace. May that be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Now, I want to do a quick hit on the idea of camp bashing, of calling people out. <laughs> calling, you called me out my name, Ak. Calling people out, as in, well, you, you're just disrespecting them, you're talking on the name. No, sir. About going into doctrine, right? And Apostle Paul did exactly, exactly by name, right? I'm not naming names, he named names. He called by name people that were going off in doctrine and that were causing people to err, to, err, to be in error <clears throat> of doctrine. Because you had one guy on Elder Apostle Tars comment board bugging out, talking, why'd you always, why'd you always go against people? That's not fair, that's not nice. But the scriptures are not nice, right? What does nice mean? It means nicias, void of science. So to be nice, if you have, if, what you say, ignorance is bliss. So to, to have no knowledge is nice. You know, and our people love to be in that, that state. Prophesy smooth words, speak the seeds unto us. We're all Israel, we're all one, we're all gonna make it. It's about the nation. Forget the elect, it's about the nation. That's what Jake wants, right? But that's not what Jake's gonna get, not around these sides. So 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 17 And their word will eat as doth a canker Of whom is Hymenaeus and Philetus Who concerning the truth have erred Hold on, Apostle Paul's camp bashing Apostle Paul is being toxic What's going on here? Explain this one Who concerning the truth have erred Saying that the over the, Sorry, saying that the resurrection is past already And overthrow the faith of some so certain things that they're teaching are causing some people to fall out of the truth. Ultimately, it's of course the Heavenly Father. He laid that stumbling block and it's up to his decree. But you have to understand the men of the Lord, the true men of the Lord, were always rebuking, reproving. Right, let's look at that. Reprove, rebuke with all long suffering and doctrine. Right, so this is the book of 2 Timothy 4 and 2. It says, preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season. Right, so that's something we might get on a group four. You, you don't go out in winter. You took the whole winter off. You forgot about the Lord's flock. And you just did your own thing, right? <laughs> you had Christmas pudding. You were, you were sipping on that Baileys, right? And you forgot about the Lord's work. Right, so in season, out of season. Now let's read, let's, let's justify me camp bashing just there. Right, 2 Timothy 4 and 2. Preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Get on niggas, cuss people out. Tell them what the truth is, whether they fall up, what you say, hear or forbear. Right, the blood is off our hands, that's what it's about, okay? That's what the Lord did, he set up watchmen Right, and just as the old time, whether they hear you or not, you've done your job. Right, so if you've got this truth, you're appointed to be a teacher. Right, you need to warn people. You need to sound the trumpet. Right, and like it says, if a trumpet in the, in the context of your plantation, Christians speaking in tongues, you don't know what you're saying. No one knows what you're saying. You're not saying anything. Right, but when you speak in tongues, when you speak, which all tongues means is another language. When you speak in another language, in a churchical or ecclesiastical setting, there's meant to be an interpreter. And it says, who shall hear a trumpet if it play an uncertain sound? All right, so if you're warning the people and you're speaking, what is my man on? And you're speaking in some unknown foreign tongue, excuse, sorry about that, someone's trying to, <laughs> trying to kill me on the road. If someone's speaking in an unknown tongue, then what good is that unto, ed unto edification? Similarly, if someone's saying the wrong thing, you know, it's, there's no good. There's no good in it. There's no profit. In fact, it's worse than someone saying something that, that they can't understand, you know, because they might take on the false doctrine that they can understand uh, unto their destruction, okay? So you have to understand this is a serious thing, right? There can't be leaven in the doctrine, and if there is leaven, you have to sort it out, you have to address it. Right, so to say, 
For example, the MOTB is sin. The MOTB is sleeping with Edomite women. That's what some groups teach. No, the MOTB is a charagma, right? Well, that's what it means in the Greek, or that's what the Greek would mean. But it is the little, the little C hip, man. The micro C hip. And he's gonna try to push it out further and further every day. Right, we're, we're, we're in a season, the MOTB season. Right, it seems they're, they're, it's always in the news, it's being pushed. It's convenient, it helps people. Right, it brings this, it brings that. But you've got some groups still that want to tell you, oh no, it's sin, it's an embargo, it's doing this, it's doing that, anything but that. So we're not going off to name these people, name and shame these people. Right, and say, well, that's an, that's doctrine is off. Right, it's not, not no one's gonna, you know, this, this is the brother's government name, this is where, it, we're not doing that. You know, that's wicked. But we're telling you, you know, them people that put their face out there, as Israelites, well, this Israelite, you know, that has this page, he goes off on this doctrine. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, same way if we put ourselves out there, you can take that clip, you can clip it, you can say, well, they went off on this. You know, you can do a video on it. There's no problem with that. That's not wicked. Okay, verse 19, 2 Timothy 2. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High standeth sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his, and every one that nameth the name of Hamashiach, Depart from iniquity, right? So repentance, that's all ultimately what we're preaching. Now we're never gonna cuss out, we're never gonna get on, excuse me, IUIC, ISUPK, Sakari, HODC, whoever, 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 especially Sakari, they're on point for the most part. For doing the work, right? And many of time I've heard Elder Apostle going, you know, IUIC are doing a good work here. You know, yeah, I can't, I can't knock them. Sometimes I say, yeah, they're doing a good work, but they just taught this, it was off. What's, what's wrong with that? <laughs> you know, and that's our point, iron sharpeneth iron. You know, if someone comes against us on the doctrine, then we have to go back over it or revisit something we've maybe not touched in a while. And it sharpens you. You know, you're, you're reminded of them things. For example, when I was in the, the Jake town, bit prophesying, all that Christian shit would come out. Oh, we can't eat pork. You know, the law's, the law's done away with, but you can't be a funny man. You know, a lot of Benjamites, they know that that, you know, man on man is, is wickedness, right? And they'll tell you, you can't do that, it's against the scriptures. Well, show me in the scripture, what law is it against? Where is it a sin? Leviticus. But you're sat there in the same chapter where it says, you know, what, don't shave your beard off, or, you know, a chapter either side. Let's say Leviticus 18 and 22, Leviticus 20 and 13. But Leviticus 19 and 27 says you can't shave your beard off. You also like that with a bald face, and not, I don't mean a guy that can't grow a beard, but I mean someone that intentionally removes their follicles. <laughs> right, so someone removing their beard, and then, but then they'll sit there and tell you, ah, oh, no, but being a funny man is wicked, which of course it is, you know, but you're being a hypocrite, because that is something that you can keep. Certain ones, you, you go to Leviticus, about bringing a turtle dove, you know, and sacrificing it, for example, to the temple, so on and so forth, to the Levites, so on and so forth. We can't keep that today, we don't have a temple. We are the temple in this time, right? The body is the temple, that's where your spirit dwells. So, you have to be careful of what you digest, okay? And not take that on a physical and a spiritual. That's why people get marked, that's why people get told, right, this guy's going off. Even it says that, Apostle Paul said that. You know, I'll close out on that one. Romans 17, sorry, 16, verses 17 and 18. It says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned and avoid them. Right, but you've got guys out here that, are, that they, they're the only one that believes their doctrine. They're the only one that believes in what they teach. When the scriptures talk about a body, and then you make out like we're wicked, we're a so-called cult, which all cult means is culture, right? Same root you get cultivation from, so on and so forth. Right, and avoid them. Avoid them. Verse 18, For they that as such serve not our Lord Yehoshai Hamashach, but, our, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. Right, so there's nothing wrong with rebuking. There's nothing wrong with reproofing, especially when it's done with all long suffering and doctrine. So I'll leave it there. On to the next one, Lord willing. All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh, Shai, Bahasham, Rechah, Kodash. Shalom.